Hey, Kevin, what are you doing? Playing with my pencil? <laughs> I need to draw out a circle out here. I need an eight foot circle so I can roll out some stock on my slip roll so I can make this ring that I want for this sculpture that I'm building. It's kind of complicated, but keep with me, you'll see it. Ow. It's the great thing about having long arms, I can do this. <laughs> Oh, he's got special tools. No, not really. I'm using it just a center punch that I can hold onto the ground and then this is just a center punch out of my toolbox. This is sidewalk chalk from the good folks at Crayola. No, I'm not sponsored. And this is something I found in the military. This is called waxed thread and they used it for um, tying up the wiring looms, like the airplanes and the power units and things like that. that. That's where I discovered it was in the military. Almost unbreakable. I mean, it doesn't matter how hard you try to snap it, pull it, whatever. Normally you, can, you cut it or you take like a soldering iron and you melt it and then that melts the end together and that way it won't fray. Really, really cool stuff. You find it online all the time. You just look for waxed thread. So now I got my circle. This is my pattern. So now I can go in and get that half inch rod and start running it through the slip roll and come out and just lay it down until I get the bend just right, get the curve just right, do the rest of my pieces. So of course there's math involved in all of this. Got a eight foot diameter circle. How much rod do I actually need to go all the way around? You know how to figure it out? I think there's pie involved. No, no, that's lunchtime. Don't worry. Yeah, there's pie involved. Eight foot diameter circle converted to inches. That's times 12 or 96 inches. 96 inches times pie, which is 3.14. That gives you 301.4, I think it is, inches. So 301 inches all the way around. So I've got three. 10 foot long pieces of this half inch rod that I'm going to bend. So 10 foot, that's 120 inches. Yeah. So 360 inches worth of stock back there. I only need 301. So I can just go back, cut it to the right length. And then I know, okay, I just need to bend these three pieces. Should come out pretty darn close. Want to come watch? Is that a dexterity exercise? Boy, I tell you what. I don't know what I was rolling on this last time, but the roller was all the way to the top. So this is my date and slip roll. And this is what I'm doing right here is the adjustment for the, the curve, how much of a radius it actually makes. And this is the roller that controls that. So I need to back this way down because I'm going to run this half inch rod through there. And this is an old mechanical one. There's no motor except for me. So the easier I can make it, the better. So this is the ro this is like I say this is the radius roller. Up or down makes it tighter or less. And you can also go side to side. So when you're doing a sheet through here, you can tip it one way, and as you run your sheet through, it'll actually start to put a curve in it. And that'll come in real handy later when I'm putting the skin on this sculpture, because I've got to have a little twist to it as I, as I make the skin for each section. So I'll use that a lot. You'll see it twisted way over one side. This is what we're going to be using right here. These are the ring rollers. 
that you can put any kind of a round stock through. Hell, I put a you know, little quarter inch square stock through them also. But we'll be using this big roller right here. Here's a small piece of what I need. So I have to also adjust the tension on the feed roller. That's the other roller on the front here on the bottom. So we need to back that off a little bit. And you can also adjust some of the radius by how much tension you have, more or less. And you can push it harder, you can make it turn, you know, make it curl more, make it curl less. Really adjustable, really a great, great little machine. So let's give it a shot and see what we get. Not enough. <laughs> Got a lot more to go. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get started on the other big ones and then we'll check it against the ground and we'll see how we're doing. So let me get back to work. I'll see you next time.